Hello and welcome back to Galls It Up. We're here today and this little project that we're taking on today is more out of necessity than it is out of practicality. Or maybe out of practicality than necessity, I don't know. But anyhow, as you can see, we've got two four-wheelers loaded on this trailer. Tomorrow's my youngest daughter's birthday. You'll see her here in just a minute. But she's wanting to go riding for her birthday and with the coronavirus out, what better way to spend an afternoon than spending in the beautiful hills. Look at the sun out today. The wind's a little cold, but it's still awful pretty out. So, But our problem is we've got three four-wheelers and the trailer only holds two. Now, I did the math, and when you take the square footage of a 6x14, each one of these four-wheelers are shorter than six foot long, and they're less than four foot wide. We ought to be able to stack all three of them in here and have almost two foot left over at the end. But, as you can see, there's not much room left over. So today's project is, we're gonna figure out how to fit this third four-wheeler on here and load them easy, with easy access to get on and off. And uh, we may be some trial and error, we'll see how it goes. But we will be working on it. So stay tuned and you'll see what we're doing. All right, so as you can see, we've got it cleared up. And uh, my initial thoughts is like I said, the math shows that they should fit if we can get them on here sideways. So now the ramp's in the back and these machines are a little too heavy for me to lift and tug, I've tried. And while like, you can grab them by the back end and you front end and you can scoot them around, I've tried to turn one in here and there's not enough room to turn. You have to actually lift the wheels up over the rails to get it turned around. So that's not a practical way for us to haul these uh, machines back and forth. Uh, so we got to find out easy way. I've got an idea. Let me grab a set of ramps and let's just try it and see what we can do here. What I'm thinking my initial thought is let's set a set of ramps up over the edge and maybe put a, uh, a block of wood or something here, some kind of six by six, a timber, something for the front wheels because we go over logs in the mountains, right? We go over logs. So I'm thinking if it drops off, we may be able just to pull it over in here sideways on this front section and then on the back it's going to be because of these fender wells and lights we may have to create something to set up here in order to get the ramps on i don't know stay tuned we'll figure it out but let's try setting ramps up just see what it does if we try to pull it in there we've set it up on the side like we talked about we put a couple blocks of six by six in here and now that i'm looking at it i'm seriously doubting whether this will work we've got about five inches or so these blocks are about five and a quarter five and a half inches thick so uh realistically in the mountains we go over logs bigger than that but when i'm looking at the angle coming up and then dropping over it's looking steep i'm kind of suspecting we'll bottom out but we're going to try it before we go any farther because that would be the simplest solution if we could just lay a six by six down the side here or move these blocks back and forth with the ramp load them on sideways it would be a really simple solution but let's see what it does just as we suspected it bottomed out so this is not going to work. Let's see if we can get this thing back off here and try something else. All right. So what we've learned out of that little experiment, experiment right there is that we're going to have to, if we ramp it up, we're either going to have to load them straight across or we're going to have to ramp it back down. Now, we don't want to go out and pile on stuff. The coronavirus is going on, so. Uh, we don't want to go out and buy a lot of material. What I got to do is come up with something that I have laying around that we can maybe ramp on. That still don't fix the problem that we're having on the other end. It's going to be hard to load over top of that fender. And we've got the same problem with a lot. So what we have to do is figure out how to extend this top rail out at least equal with that and make it solid where we could drive over and then we're going to have to ramp back down in it we'll have to ramp back down into the trailer so that's the that's what we're looking at doing right now and it just happens i think i've got an idea let's go in i'll take you with me in the shop and we'll look at some scrap stuff i've got laying around
Heights, I'm sure most of you all have a junk pile or scrap pile that you keep laying around. Uh, so in my mind, I've got a couple pieces of 2 to 12 here. I've got one that's about eight foot long from another project that I'd cut. And then, let's see, I've got four of these that's about, I think it was two, I think it was 10 foot 2 by 12s that we cut in half and used for another project. And then these, a bit longer, those are five quarter board. They're looking like they're about six foot, but let me, let me take this eight footer out lay it on the trailer and kind of show you my idea, see? I said this up here, I think this is about eight or nine foot long, this thing. Well, it looks like it's close to that anyways. Just set it up here, we're going to get up past our line. Right. Kind of eyeball it up there and see that looks like it's getting us out past the uh, where at least levels us up there to get the ramp. That takes care of our fender and our light problem. We had something mounted there that gets us up, but now we need to get over and we can't have a steep transition. We know our trailer, like I said earlier, is about six foot wide, uh, and I think those boards in there are shorter than that, so it don't have to be a perfect ramp. This has to be something to get us in there. Let's grab a couple of these short tube of tins and see what it looks like. about sent there. Now the question is, is that long enough to get a second one on here? Because we know by mathematics it should work. Like I said, the four wheels are less than four foot wide. And we got a 14 foot trailer, so three fours is 12. We should have about two foot left over if we bump it straight up or have about a foot between them. Let's see if this looks if this looks like it. Actually that's about perfect. Slide down and put another one. Now, I had two more of these short boards, and while they're not cut perfect, we could let them go all the way out to the end. It don't have to be as long as it makes a ramp over. See, I think we're a little bit negotiable here on on length, and we want something that's easy. We want something that's practical, easy, to safe, and uh, we don't want it to look horrible either. We don't want to look like we've just we don't look like the Beverly Hillbillies going uh, down the highway. So, you know what? I'm thinking this is going to work. Before we start bolting everything down and anchoring it down, we don't want to just make it look like we put wood on it. So, let's paint it up, see if we can't make it look nicer, and then we'll bolt it down and see what it looks like. So, let's do that. All right, as you can see, uh, we've got the first three boards painted. I don't know if you've used much of this Rust-Oleum, uh, the professional, it dries in about 15 minutes, and it actually does. It's pretty close to that. Our first board is not all the way dry, but it's dry to the touch. It's dry enough, I think we could lay it over on the trailer and probably not hurt anything, so. Uh, We'll do that and go ahead and uh, put the first ones down and, and uh, see what it looks like. So. All right, we've got, as we said earlier, I've got two more of these two by 12s here. On this upper end, let's see if you can follow me up the camera right up here. Uh, we don't have to have the board on the side to level it up. What I'm thinking is we'll get rid of these six by six and I've got two of those five quarter boards over there. And uh, I may have to put a middle brace, a five quarter board probably ain't gonna hold it in, in uh, 
five foot or six foot, however long we make the ramps here, however long those boards are. But if I put a middle brace in the center of it, I don't think it'll be a big issue. And uh, I'm thinking if I stood a short, I've got a couple little blocks of two by tens in there. If I stand it up on the side to make something to anchor to here, uh, it'll probably work here on this end and we can use those five quarter boards since I don't have enough of the two by twelves. If it don't work or if it works temporarily but it's weak, we can exchange this upper end out at some point. But again, our goal is to go riding tomorrow. So I'm trying to use what we got today. So follow along. All right, we got two little blocks here. And uh, these was laid in the garage there. And uh, they happen to be the exact height of the side of that rail just using the side of a tube of 10 and uh or i mean a tube of 12 which should be i think 11 and a quarter inches so that's about what the size of that trailer is it's about 11 and a quarter inches because i stuck it up to the side of it and it was perfect now it's probably a little wider than the five quarter boards but i wouldn't go through cutting all that now we did uh cut these little pieces here off camera and they're a little better than half of the width of this got a little bit of angle on it i'm not positive it's going to be perfect we kind of got the angle off of the boards there and uh it this we may use these as a center brace i'm not positive how these are going to go in yet but if not if they don't work we'll we'll use something else and i see i've missed a little spot on painting that side there but uh and the paint job's not perfect uh again this is probably not going to stay on the trailer permanent but it'll uh, it'll be good for uh hopefully for loading up tomorrow so what we're going to do now is uh, get all this stuff anchored down screwed down uh we we'll have to get some measurements off of our four wheelers and make sure that we get the widths of the boards just right. All right, we uh, so far we've been, and my neighbor's uh, cutting grass right now, so that's the noise you hear in the background. But anyhow, uh, a lot of the measurements that we've worked on this so far really hasn't been that, it didn't have to be that accurate. And we've kind of looked and just kind of pulled some stuff off that we got. However, lining these boards up, we do want to be safe. And uh, aluminum ramp that we're using to get up on this side is uh it's solid it's it's covered all the way up but by running back off on boards we do want to try to make sure that we get her lined up to our tire width so uh we're going to uh this one right here from outside to outside is about 46 inches check this one that's a uh 400 polaris this is a 300 polaris it's about 42 inches outside the outside so let's see here so we've got a center of about 34 and a center of about 38. Let's take the Honda and see what it's got. So, uh, each, each one's a little different. We've got a 400, but that the 400 Polaris is actually on a 500 frame. It's the 400H, so it's a little bit bigger. And then we've got the 300. And this is a 400 Rancher that you may recognize from uh, our corporator video. And it is about a uh, 34 inch center. So the white Polaris and the yellow Honda are about the same. And the uh, blue Polaris is a little bit bigger. So we'll use that to get our measurements lined out. Now, let's look while we're standing here. Let's look at another issue that we've got. You can see I've got a little Ford Explorer and it's got a six cylinder in it. Something that we want to accommodate and uh, when I was trying to figure out how to load these up, when I was thinking about it and thinking about this project or how to get them all on there, something that we don't want to do, we don't want to put a lot of tongue weight on it because that vehicle, it'll, it'll tow about 4,400 pounds. Uh, the trailer is a single axle, it's a 3,500 pound axle. We don't have that much weight with these four wheelers. I don't know exactly what they weigh. I'm gonna say maybe 400 pounds a piece or so. So we're well within our weight limits, but the tongue weight for that Explorer is only like three or 400 pounds a ton weight that it'll handle. And I, you'd have to go to the book to get the uh, correct specs, but it's somewhere in there, it's real light. So what we got to do as we're loading these, we got to plan out which ones we're going to put and we want to keep most of our weight to the back and sort of keep that trailer centered, to keep it centered over the axle. So being that the, the blue players, the 400, it's the heaviest machine I know from, from fooling with it and moving it around, it's the heaviest machine that we got. So we're going to put it to the back then we'll probably put the honda it's kind of a mid-range we'll put it to the center because if we look at where our board's at 
we're actually going to be loading just a little bit front of center here in the axle. Uh, our planter is going to come over somewhere in that vicinity. So our Honda is going to be loading just to the front side of the axle, which is already going to give us a little bit of tongue weight. And most of the white Polaris will be up here. But what we're hoping for is that bl the blue Polaris is heavy enough that it's going to counterbalance the tongue weight and that uh, we'll be able to pull them all off. So let's watch and see. Stay tuned. All right, I think what we're going to use to anchor these down, uh, this sideboard here, it's going to be going through wood and into uh, into the uh, metal rail of the frame. I'm going to try this to drill down through the top here. I've actually started putting a couple holes in it here, but I'm just going to use a self-tapping, uh, uh, I think these are called Tapcon screws, but they got the drill bit on the end. So I'm going to use that to anchor this in, and then for the... Uh, Anchoring the other board since we got a wooden deck in the trailer and we're anchoring the wood. I'm just going to use regular old uh, deck screws for the other. So, got our drills out and we're going to start putting them in. All right, so here's where we're at so far. We have used the five foot boards, or close to five foot. I really, to be honest with you, haven't put a measure, tape measure on it, but they laid down in there and worked. We put four of those. We bolted a eight foot two by 10 up to the side, painted them black. Now, I'm, that's probably not the best coat of paint. You know, seeing me do it, it was quick. and. Uh, but back here on the back, let me show you what we did back here. These are five quarter decking boards that we had left over laying in the garage. And uh, as you can see, that piece of two by 10 now, I could have cut it back and made it the same width, but that's the width they was and uh, a little more support ain't gonna hurt anything. So what we did screwed that up. Now we did cut a couple little, I hope the shadow's not too bad, but we cut a couple little braces to put under the middle of that, but uh, if I can stand on it here, I'll wait on it, it's, it's not going anywhere, so I'm pretty sure it'll hold up, but we're getting ready to put the ramps to it and start loading the four-wheelers and see what it looks like, so see if our idea has worked or have we did all this work for nothing. Time will tell. All right, so here's what we've been waiting for. This is the first time trying it here with the See how quick we can load the other two. Let's see if it'll work. There's two successfully on. Let's see if the third one will go in. If we 
get the third one successfully on here, we will have accomplished our goal. But look, we got two on, and look how much room we've got. But let me show you how. Why I was talking about the weight on the trailer. Our tongue is real light right now. We don't have any weight on the back of the car. It's actually pulling up, trying to take it off of it. So let's hope that we've got the weight distribution right when we put the third four-wheeler on here. So. Third and final one. Keep your fingers crossed. Let's see what it does. Perfect. Perfect. That worked just according to plan. Now let's see here. Look, look, look what just happened to work out. We had just enough room. That works perfect. We had just enough room to put our low clamps in here. We couldn't have got much more perfect than that. Let's get a good look at it. Let's walk here and get a look at it. All right, as you can see, we've got it loaded. And if you look, we don't have much tongue weight. That's the way that usually sets uh, light. It does have enough tongue weight to hold it down. We've played with it, but it is looking good. As we just said there, our, uh, had just enough room for our racks. You can see we've got, I can, I can lift it and move it. We're not, we're feeling pretty good there. We'll pull it down the road and see exactly what it feels like, but uh, all three of them fit up. We've got the five quarter boards there. It went right up and over. These ramps went on. We got the yellow one on there. We got the blue one. Uh, didn't mess with the ramp in the back. And realistically, since we've got those cut, we could have that off and back together in just a few minutes. Uh, but they're looking good from this angle. I say we get it strapped down, pull it up the road and see what it looks like. So. Uh, let's get to that. All right, as you can see, we've got it all strapped down. Uh, it's loaded up. We've got our safety hooks on and our lights is working. And uh, let's take, see what it does. Let's pull it.
made it back to the house. Nothing has moved. Everything rode really smooth. I am well pleased with the way this trailer's turned out. Uh, we did what we set out. We accomplished what we set out to do. Our, uh, we met our goals and uh, it don't look bad. At least I'm satisfied with it. Uh, we did it, it's, it's safe. Every, all the weights distributed safely. Uh, it don't look bad and it was a fun afternoon project. We have successfully gauze this trailer up. We have gauzed it up guys, so uh, join us next week. I don't know what we'll be getting into, but hopefully uh, we'll have another fun project and we'll find something else to gauze up as we move forward. So don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and tell us what we could have done different. Tell us what we did good, bad. Maybe you had a completely different idea. Maybe you seen something laying around my garage. Don't forget, our goal was that with the coronavirus, we didn't want to buy anything. We was trying to use what we had. So we've done that. And uh, tell us what we could have did different. We'll put a subscribe button up here and uh, tell, us what, tell us what we could have done differently, uh, what was better, worse, and uh, what you like. And we thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you in future videos. Have a good afternoon.